Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. Well, today we want to find out more about rubber using a microscope. I've bought this one, it's about $190. Let me explain it to you first. So you see this little microscope has three different lenses and it also has a monitor. Um, so it doesn't have like optical lenses, but it just works with an LCD. It even has a USB connection and it also has an SD card reader. So if you want to microscope something, here are three insect heads. That's a wisp, and that's the head of an ant, and one of the blowfly. So all we have to do is, we have to put it in. By the way, I'm making a new saw blade shooter. That's why my hand is a little bloody. Okay, so we got the three heads here, and the first thing that we do is, we switch on the lighting. And then what we can do is we can use this part here to move the objects. So this is the head of the ant. And you see even though it has no body anymore, it still moves its antenna. And this is actually the part that it bites with. Now I found out something that's really interesting. That is if I take a very strong pocket light and light things. First I switch off the internal lighting. Now look what happens. You can really, really see things with colors and resolution that otherwise with this little thing wouldn't be possible. Real nice. Now we can go up in resolution simply by turning this here. And if I like a picture, all I have to do is I have to click on snap and then it freezes it. I can even make video with this. So even moving objects. Okay, so uh, we're gonna microscope rubber now and I'm gonna show you the results and comment them for you. But if you wanna see a little bit additional microscoping stuff, stay tuned at the end of the video. So first I prepared two samples, one stretched and one unstretched thin rubber band. This is the unstretched band. See how everything is coiled up? These are clusters of polymers. And now it's, uh, we see the stretched rubber. See how the polymer clusters are really stretched? You can still see the gold. And this is the largest zoom. Very interesting footage. And next we look at the tick. Isn't this a monster? This is done with my pocket light method. This is without the pocket light. And now with pocket light. How much more detail you can see. This is the part it uses to suck blood. There's a leg. Again the head. Gruesome. Okay, so now I want to look at my own blood. So first I take a little bit of rubber and wrap it around my pinky. Like this and then I take my pocket knife and and there's the blood uh, here you can see the erythrocytes this is with the pocket light and this is with the uh, light from below it's really nice this is what blood looks like this is with the pocket light method and larger zoom. This is the largest zoom. You can see the little dents. Oh, oops, this isn't blood. Forget about it, guys. See this slingshot? It's supposed to look like a bull. 
like an African bull. It's wrapped in leather and cowhide and the eyes are Swarovski crystals. And you can win it. How? By participating in my contest. There's lots of prizes and there's prizes just for voting, there's prizes for making on slingshots. The idea is that we will run a contest for a full year with a zodiac sign being the slingshot goal for the month. And you can follow it and you can participate. Just log into my forum um, and the link is in the text description as well. Good luck. Okay, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks and bye-bye.